what is the difference between other uh, government medical universities in Russia in compared to Krasnaya State Medical University? Krasnoyarsk Medical University is located in Krasnoyarsk city, which is the second largest city of Siberia. Our university is very old. It's, uh, it was uh, founded in 1942. The most important specific feature of our university is that we offer practical training from the first year of study. They will need to go to the hospital after second semester and work with patients directly. Our university professors are medical doctors who work part-time as uh, university teachers and part-time as a doctor. What about uh, like if uh, some students want to join some cultural activity? So we organize a lot of events and not only us, students themselves uh, organize uh, culture festivals, Diwali, Navratri. In your university, like in Krasnaya State Medical University, your intake is very limited. What is the reason behind this? So we believe that quality should go over quantity. Our university uh, programs are NMC approved. Uh, we follow all the NMC requirements. Also, we are WHO approved. Lots of parents are concerned about uh, the safety of the students. So Krasnoyarsk is a very safe city and the criminal rates are very low compared to other Russian cities. I hope lots of students will uh, see this video and get some uh, in-depth knowledge about the Krasnoyarsk State Medical University. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello everyone. Uh, myself, Dawal Thesia. डबल थेसिया की यूट्यूब चैनल में आपका स्वागत है आज हम बात करेंगे एम बी बी एस इन रसिया सो काफ़ी तरह देखा गया है कि भारत भर में से सिंस टू थाउजेंड फाइव और बिफोर टू थाउजेंड फाइव मैक्सिमम स्टूडेंट्स जो है उसका फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी जो है वो एम बी बी एस की पढ़ाई के लिए रसिया रह चुका है एज़ पर द गूगल रिकॉर्ड एंड एज पर द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स एनरोलिंग इन दू रसिया फॉर मेडिकल स्टडीज सो अकॉर्डिंग टू आवर टेन ईयर्स एक्सपर्टाइज Russia is one of the best destination for MBBS abroad. So, आज हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए हैं क्रास्नाया State Medical University के admission director Ekaterina Ma'am. So, I want to welcome you, Ma'am. Uh, welcome to our YouTube channel, Ekaterina Ma'am. Uh, how uh, how is your Indian trip? Like you are enjoying? Thank you so much, Dhal Sir. Um, I had a wonderful experience here, and thank you so much for very warm welcome. Okay. So ma'am, uh, can you please uh, explain to our, uh, our subscribers that uh, uh, what is the difference between other uh, government medical universities in Russia in compared to Krasnaya State Medical University? Okay, so the most important specific feature of our university is that we offer practical training from the first year of study. Uh, junior students, first year students, they will need to go to the hospital after second semester and work with patients directly. So they will need to have some Russian language skills, of course, um, and they will need to communicate with patients from the first year. Uh, as much as we know, this is a very unique feature that uh, very few universities in Russia can offer. Um, the second very important thing is that uh, students study in English language for the whole period of study, for the whole six years. And uh, they also need to learn Russian language, of course, for communication with patients. They will learn Russian language from basics, from scratch. Uh, and, of course, uh, there is, we um, pay so much attention to practical training. Okay, very good. जहाँ तक मेरा भी तजुर्बा है मैं ऑलरेडी क्रासनैया स्टेट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी में दो तीन मुलाकात ले चुका हूँ काफ़ी सारे इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स जो वहाँ पे पढ़ाई कर रहे हैं और एज पर इतना मैम जैसे बात कर रहे हैं कि वहाँ पे प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपोजर जो है उस पर काफ़ी फोकस किया जा रहा है इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स के लिए एंड वन मोर थिंग मैम I think uh, there will be a, a more than 85 government medical university in entire Russia. But uh, how you differentiate uh, Krasnaya State Medical University with the other universities like uh, your location, like your locality and uh, infrastructure? What kind of facilities do you have in campus? So Krasnoyarsk Medical University is located in Krasnoyarsk city, which is the second largest city of Siberia. 
our university is very old. It's uh, it was uh, founded in 1942. And um, the specific feature of our city is that it's second largest city of Siberia. It means that it will allow students get more effective practical training in hospitals because patient flow is very uh, heavy, it's very continuous. Uh, Krasnoyarsk is a very beautiful city surrounded by the mountainous nature and there is a river Yenisei uh, which is just close to the university. Uh, the city infrastructure is very good. Uh, the university is located in the city center, so uh, students have the access to any city facilities. Uh, and apart from that, we also have a um, uh, very modern and developed campus. So students have the access to swimming pool, uh, football fields, uh, different sports and uh, dormitories are located in the walking distance from the main building of the university. Oh, very nice. And uh, ma'am, uh, what about uh, like if uh, some students want to, uh, you know, uh, join some cultural activity, like, like our Indian are celebrating uh, different kind of festivals. So do you have any facilities in Krasnaya you know, city that uh, students can enjoy their culture? Of course, uh, we understand that students from India value their culture a lot. This is why we need to give them opportunities to express themselves through their culture. So we organize a lot of events and not only us, students themselves uh, organize uh, culture festivals, Diwali, Navratri, and uh, they are able to take initiative in this. So they can uh, show their leadership qualities Organ, organization qualities and many more. So numerous opportunities for students and uh, their personal growth. Uh, uh, since uh, last 10 years, I am in this field of uh, like, you know, guiding the students to study abroad for MBBS as well as in India. So lots of parents are asking me that uh, whether the uh, uh, Russian language is compulsory or the entire curriculum is in a Russian or English. So, uh, I already asked you that question, but for the clarity of our uh, uh, the viewers, Jitni bhi universities in Russia mein hai, wo sari ki sari university jo hai, wo government medical universities hai, ki jahaan pe aapko from the day one, yani ki jo aapka duration hai, study duration jo hai, wo six year ka hota hai, wahaan pe aapko from the day one se aapko Russian language ka training jo hai, wo provide kiya jata hai, jisse kya hai ki aapko second or third year tak, आपका प्रोफिशिएंसी जो है वो लैंग्वेज में डेवलप हो जाता है जो आपको एबीसीडी से जो है वो बेसिक से वो रशियन लैंग्वेज जो सिखाया जाता है कि जिस हिसाब से आफ्टर थर्ड ईयर जब आपका प्रैक्टिकल ट्रेनिंग होता है गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी है तो बट नेचुरली गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेजेस उसके साथ एफिलेटेड है कैंपस के अंदर ही उसका हॉस्पिटल वगैरह है तो वहाँ पे अगर आपको आपके साथ अगर कोई इंटरनेशनल कोऑर्डिनेटर नहीं है तो आप उसके साथ इंटरेक्शन कर सकते हो उस पर्पस से आपको रशियन सिखाया जाता है चाहे दुनिया के किसी भी नॉन इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग कंट्री के अंदर अगर आप पढ़ाई करने के लिए जाते हो तो लैंग्वेज इज़ द मैंडेटरी लेकिन जो आपका पूरा सिक्स ईयर का कोर्स ड्यूरेशन है वो एंटायर ड्यूरेशन जो है वो इंग्लिश मीडियम में पढ़ाया जाता है uh one more uh, one more thing ma'am uh, lots of university are taking uh, 600 and 700 students 800 students per year but i see the quality in your university like in krasnaya state medical university your intake is very limited what is the re reason behind this so we believe that quality should go over quantity uh, and uh, man by maintaining student teacher ratio student can get easily adapted to russian culture russian climate and of course Russian academic environment. What is more uh, getting practical skills, it is very important. This is why we provide uh, cadavers from the very first year of studies so that students can um, get their skills and knowledge in anatomy. Very good. So, kafi tar dekha gaya hai ki bahut kam yese, bahut rare universities yese hoti hai jo first year mein hi students ko dissection ka jo hai wo mokha deti hai. To ye kafi achhi baat hai Krasnaya State Medical University ki wo first year se hi student ko practical knowledge ki taraf push kar rahi hai. And majorly lots of parents are concerned about the safety of the students. Like if girl child, if I would say. Girl, girl child, then uh, uh, what about the safety parameters in hostel, in university and your city? 
So Krasnoyarsk is a very safe city and the criminal rates are very low compared to other Russian cities. And especially I should mention about our dormitories and the university campuses, uh, which are equipped with uh, security systems at the entrance so that uh, no, no, nobody can enter the university or dormitory without special permission or special document or a card that students use to enter the university buildings. Uh, so we could uh, make a conclusion that this is a very safe university and very safe city. Uh, also important thing is that uh, girls and boys live separately. So parents uh, could be absolutely uh, relaxed about their children's safety. बहुत बहुत अच्छी बात कही है इतना मैम ने कि सेफ्टी के बारे में अगर देखा जाए तो पर्सनली हम भी काफ़ी सारी यूनिवर्सिटीज़ रसिया में जो है हमने वहाँ पे जाके देखी हुई है बहुत सारे सिटीज़ जो है हमारी टीम ने और मैंने खुद ने उसको विजिट किए हुए हैं लेकिन क्रासनयास्क सिटी जो है वो काफ़ी सेफ महसूस होता है वहाँ पर जाने के बाद और इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स जितने भी अभी वो यूनिवर्सिटीज़ में क्रासनयास में पढ़ रहे हैं उन सब यूनिवर्सिटी के स्टूडेंट्स के जो फीडबैक हमको मिलते रहते हैं डे टू डे वो उसके हिसाब से सेफ्टी का कंसर्न जो है वो यूनिवर्सिटी में नहीं होता है एंड वन मोर थिंग मैम देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ कनेक्टिविटी प्रॉब्लम फॉर इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स टू ट्रैवलिंग टू द रसिया बट व्हाट इज द लाइक यू हैव आई हर्ड दैट द क्रासना हैज द इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट ओवर देर सो इट्स इजी कनेक्टिविटी इज इट राइट Right. Uh, in Krasnoyar, there is an international airport and uh, students can get directed to Krasnoyarsk without uh, going to Moscow airport first. Okay, okay, understand. And one more thing, uh, what about the academy? Like, you know, uh, which kind of teachers you have, like which kind of skill they have, uh, they, uh, if they are going to study uh, anatomy, physiology, biochemistry. So, uh, what kind of people are there to train our Indian students for the betterment of their uh, uh, academic career? And also, you uh, might know about that uh, we have one foreign medical graduation examination after the completion of the entire course. so how your academician uh, will help to student to clear that examination our university professors are medical doctors who work part time as a university teachers and part time as a doctors treating real patients so students can be sure that they get uh the not only theoretical knowledge but also the practical experience from the first hands uh as for Of working with Indian students, we understand what they need. We understand that they will go back to India and they will need to continue working as doctors. So this is why we teach them according to international protocols of treatment. We have a lot of um, opportunities for individual studies. Students can use our um, modern library with a lot of um, literature on in, uh, with a lot of literature in English language. they have access to all our university resources what is more students can participate in research project that um, uh, are based on our research laboratories and work with real scientists for example neuroscience microbiology or oncology okay so ma'am uh, uh, the uh, one of the last question like uh, for indian students Uh, they are always concerned about the result you know after uh, the uh, after the graduation they want to practice in india and some of students are uh, wanted to practice in other countries so our university is recognized by uh, which organization like which bodies so our university programs have international accreditation that means that Uh, the diplomas that they get after graduation will be recognized in many countries all over the world. Our university uh, programs are NMC approved. Uh, we follow all the NMC requirements in relation to practical training, uh, language of instruction and the documents that they receive uh, upon graduation. Also, we are WHO approved. and uh, we are ranked uh, the highest in our uh, russian uh, ratings national ratings okay so uh, students parents uh, abhi jo humne itna mam ne jo humko information di hai wo kafi hi uh, achhi information jo hai wo hum aasha karte hai ki aap tak pahunchi hogi 
और सबसे जो मेन है कि जो गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी तो इतना बड़ा रसिया का जो गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी है उसका जो पढ़ाई करने का जो एक्सपोजर है और वहाँ पे जो क्वालिटी जो उसका इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर है जो उसका कैंपस के अंदर जो फैसिलिटीज़ है उसके जो क्लासरूम है उसके ऑडिटोरियम है उसका जो लेबोरेटरी है लाइब्रेरी है वो पर्सनली हमने जाके उसको विजिट किया हुआ है और काफ़ी सारे हमारे इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स जो है वो ऑलरेडी पढ़ रहे हैं एंड यूनिवर्सिटी जो है वो स्कॉलरशिप प्रोग्राम भी ऑफर कर रही है जैसे कोई स्टूडेंट्स अगर अप टू द मार्क उसका परफॉर्मेंस है अगर उसके ट्वेल्थ में अच्छे परसेंटेज है अगर उसका नीट का अगर अच्छा स्कोर है दैन ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द स्कॉलरशिप जो है ट्यूशन फीस का जो है वो यूनिवर्सिटी की ओर से और स्टेट गवर्नमेंट की ओर से उनको दिया जाता है सब्जेक्ट टू रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन सो इतना मैम आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक यू एंड थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग टू इंडिया एट अवर ऑफिस एंड दिस इज अ वेरी फ्रूटफुल यूट्यूब वीडियो एंड आई होप लॉट्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट विल सी दिस वीडियो एंड गेट सम इन डेप नॉलेज अबाउट द क्रास नया स्टेट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच वी रियली होप दैट दिस प्रोग्राम विल हेल्प इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स make the right choice for their future and um, uh, we hope that uh, they got um, a lot of information from our today's podcast and thank you so much for inviting me uh, okay thank you thank you thank you so much